Hello, I'm Jay Gregory, and uh, you're on the YouTube channel of the Wild Outdoors. We're here at Nelson Outfitters. We're going to have an awesome week, and we're going to give you updates all throughout our trip out here. And uh, hopefully, this is kind of indicative of what our hunt's going to end up being like. Uh, we aren't hunting moose, but hopefully, the whitetails and the mule deer are in trouble. Uh, we're so happy to be here. Make sure you keep following along. exactly what we want him to do if we could just get one a year older to do that same thing we'd be in the chips boy that killed me walking him watching him walk for like 400 yards yep. well it is the uh, evening of opening day out here at Nelson Outfitters we uh, it's actually not even evening it's Early afternoon, we uh, field that they've dubbed the stinky field is uh, they're getting the alfalfa cut in it right now, and the balers out here. So we came out with all the commotion and set up a uh, blind right at the center of one of these big center pivots. A lot of the deer have been sitting around in the last couple days here, so we're hoping in this big big field that we can get one to come in to at least within that 40 range. We uh, I would say there's probably about an easy hundred deer out here right now. A lot of really really nice bucks we uh we had an opportunity this morning that we're kind of i'm kicking myself for we uh had a nice mainframe aid in at about 42 yards but just with it being first morning we second guessed ourselves and hoping that wasn't our chance so we're gonna try to get some redemption here so like i said it's early we got another probably five hours in the blind here so we're excited to see what's gonna happen there's a uh, there's plenty of deer all we need is that one to play nice and come within that 40 and we're going to see if we can reach out and touch them so should be exciting definitely going to be eventful we're, I mean we're since we've gotten the blind we're looking at plenty of deer already so it'll be a good time
it's kind of near enough on that 430-ish, somewhere in there. We, uh, we had a ton of these nice bucks bedded down, probably 100 yards from us. And the, uh, the farmer today is bailing this alfalfa crop. And we thought he was going to push them a little bit different, but he kind of crept up on us and ended up going behind us, and he pushed them out in front of us. So we're still sitting tight. We're not out of the chips yet, but it definitely pushed it off here. If it's going to happen, it's going to be a little bit more this evening now, but you never know. We could still have one walk right into us and give it up, so fingers crossed. We still got some young does that are working up into this green spot here off the edge of this alfalfa, and there's a number of good bucks that are still within that 100, 150 yards, so we'll uh, sit tight and try to keep the nerves calm for a little bit longer and see if we can still get lucky.
He's done. You heart shot him. <laughs> Come on, go down. Go down. Go down, go down, go down. Freaking roller coaster. I can't believe that worked out like that, dude. That deer was bedded and he got up and walked right to us. We drew back on when F44 was gonna let him have it. I knew that one wasn't meant to be, man. Dude, I'm dying right now. I'm shaking so bad. I gotta stand up. That was the, one of the first deer we saw tonight. Look at all the velvet hanging off of you. What a, dude, that's a good buck. <sighs> well, here he is. I uh, I definitely couldn't be more pleased, especially for my first uh, first velvet buck, well, semi-velvet buck. This is the earliest in the year. I've never had opening day success before, so for me, this is this is huge, man. It was a uh, it was a crazy hunt, that's for sure. It was definitely a roller coaster, a couple of ups and downs, and this guy got up, stayed a little bit further back, came from 54, why it ranged him a couple times, and the last time he uh, he ranged him, he was quarter two, just a little bit more than we thought, but uh, we suck it, snuck a schwacker in there, and I think I shot him kind of right at the point of his shoulder, and I mean, he didn't make it 100 yards before he come out here in the field and died, so 34 yards, and our, the broadhead did its job, and absolutely piled him up, so big thank you to Dave and Jan and Steven at Nelson Outfitters, big thank you to Jay, and Wyatt for filming. Every time Wyatt and I get in a setup lately, it's been a success story. So this morning, not so much. We've been getting poked fun at pretty good because I let a pretty good buck walk this morning at about 42 yards. So finally, Wyatt got in my head about lunchtime and uh, we uh, put a success story together. So all in all, good, uh, good evening. And uh, like I said, opening day success. So I'll jump behind the camera now and uh, film for Wyatt until he kills. And Jay and Mom still got a tag, and uh, Mike and Holly both still have tags. So we're just getting started. Keep following along, and hopefully we can keep making them hit the ground. <laughs>